Uh, good afternoon to all of you. I'm Dr. Nazi from the Ministry of Health. Today I'll be presenting to you my research findings on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder among six to 10 year olds in Kalamba district, Sri Lanka. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or in short ADHD, is the most common new development disorder of childhood with substantial functional impairment and comorbidities. Although once considered a disorder that dominated the developed world, since of late, the concept of ADHD has emerged in other countries across the world. However, there is very little information known regarding ADHD in Sri Lanka. Therefore, the current uh, study aimed at determining the prevalence and associated factors of attention deficit hyperactive disorder among six to 10 year olds in Kalamu district, Sri Lanka. A descriptive cross-section study was conducted among 1,125 primary school children aged six to 10 years from single and medium state schools in Kalamu district. A multi-state stratified cluster sampling technique was employed to select schools from two educational zones where 20 students from each class were selected randomly. Prevalence was assessed by administering the validated single version of SNAP4 scale to both the primary caregivers as well as to the class teachers, following which the child was subjected to a clinical assessment by a consultant child and adolescent psychiatrist to confirm diagnosis. Moving on to results, most of the study pop population came from a family structure where both pilot biological parents were present, where in most cases, the mother was the primary caregiver. Most of them were eldest in their families and had only one sibling. Majority of the study population were males and consisted mainly of uh, seven to eight year olds with a median age of eight years. Moving on to prevalence, the overall prevalence of any type of ADHD was 6.5% with a 95% confidence interval of 5.1 to 8.1 with ADHD combined variety being the commonest. These findings were well in line with other studies that were published in the literature. Expectantly, the uh, male preponderance was observed with a marked female to male ratio of one is to four as uh, depicted in table two. Coming to age groups, the commonest age to have received a, a diagnosis of ADHD was seven to eight years. Younger age display more uh, hyperactivity symptoms than inattentive symptoms and uh, is more pronounced in home settings than at school and considerably overlaps with normal behavior, which makes diagnosis rather difficult. Similarly, older age group with a wind of hyperactivity, uh, inattention symptoms are more prominent than hyperactivity symptoms, and they are more pronounced in school than at home as it impairs academic performance. Therefore, the, the uh, the middle years, the seven, eight years, however, uh, they exhibit symptoms, both symptoms in both settings, which makes diagnosis rather easier and are more picked up by both the parents as well as the teachers. That's probably why the prevalence was highest in that particular age group. We also looked at uh, associated factors that could be uh, factors that could be associated with the uh, ADHD. Uh, findings revealed that uh, male uh, being male, as well as having a mother of low educational level, as well as coming from a home from a lower income level were associated with development of ADHD. In conclusion, uh, in conclusion, given that um, in a classroom of 20 students, at least one child could be detected with ADHD, a school-based screening program that enables early detection and a timely referral of children with ADHD is the need of the hour. Thank you. Thank you so much.